and welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're new here, hello there, welcome. And if you're turning here, welcome back. Hi. All right. As you can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be a reread, rewrite, or burn video tag. I don't know if it's a tag. And um, I'm out of breath. My blood sugar is a bit high, so I'm out of breath. But I started this video, started recording this video outside, but it was too loud, too much traffic, so I decided to come in and I put the papers back in my mug. So if you don't know what this video is, um, first of all, welcome, and I already said that. Um, grab a cup of coffee, cup of tea, maybe a knitting project, whatever you'd like, and let's get started. So, um, this video, I've seen a lot of people do it, and I just wanted to do it. So what it is, is you write down all the books you read this year and you write them on separate sheets, of little strips of paper. You put them in a mug or in a jar or something and then you draw them out random and you draw three at a time and you have to choose which one you'll read, reread, which one you'll rewrite and which one you'll burn. I, of course, will never burn a book and I don't know if I'm talented enough to rewrite a book. So we're just, we're just going with it. We're, we're going to try. So I have my Christmas mug because I felt like drinking or not drinking. I'm not drinking anything. I felt like using a Christmas mug. So, all right, let's get started. I have 54, um, strips of paper in here. I don't know if we'll do them all. That's 18, that's 18 if you divide by three, 18 picks. Um, that didn't make sense, but you know what I mean. Um, I have only read 52 books this year, which I reached my Goodreads goal, so that's cool, because my Goodreads goal is 50. Um, but I added two from last year to make it a divisible by three. So let's get started. I'm excited. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. The good thing about having a big stomach is you could set your mug on it. Well, it doesn't stay very well. Okay. First one is... Winnie's Great War. So I'm not going to do synopsis, 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 whatever, plots. I'm not going to do plots of the books. I'm just going to say the name. So Winnie's Great War. That, I forget who wrote it, but it's about Winnie the Pooh. The real Winnie the Pooh. It's a middle grade. Really good. Then we've got Murder Can Mess Up Your Masterpiece. Um, nope, can't remember who wrote it, but it's a cozy mystery. I listened to it on audio. And we'll do this one. I should have wrote the authors down with it, but I didn't. Pride, Prejudice, and Peril. This is by, oh, what's her name? Katie Oliver, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. Okay, so let's decide. Pride, Prejudice, and Peril. Murder Can Mess Up Your Masterpiece or Winnie's Great War. Okay. I think I will reread Pride, Prejudice, and Peril because I really enjoyed it. It was like a really good book, really good cozy. I would burn Murder Can Mess Up Your Masterpiece because it was a good audiobook. It was a good story, but it wasn't my favorite cozy. Um, yeah, I just, I'm going to, I mean, I don't want to burn it, but it's going to have to be burned. And then I'll reread, was I rereading it? I can't remember what I said now. Yeah, I'm going to reread Pride, Prejudice, and Peril. And then I'm going to rewrite Winnie's Great War because I don't like the ending, even though it's true. I just don't like the ending. It's a true story, so you can't really change it. But, I mean... I don't like the ending. Okay. And then we have Double Minds, which is a book I, some of these books you won't know about that I read because a lot of these books you won't know I read because I didn't do all my wrap ups yet. I know I'm late. Double Minds is by um, Terry Blackstock's The Christian Thriller. I buddy read it with my friend Jess last month. Then we have All That Is Hidden by Reese Bowen. That is a cozy mystery, historical cozy mystery. Uh, let's pick this one. If You Got It, Haunt It. This is by the same author that the murder can mess up your masterpiece. Okay, 
um, this is hard. Um, cause I, I don't know. I think this is harder than it looks. I think I would, oh goodness. I think I'll burn if you've got it haunted for the same reason that I didn't like the other book. It just wasn't my favorite cozy. It was really good, but it wasn't my favorite. And then I will rewrite Double Minds. I don't know what I'd change about it. Or would I rewrite All That Is Hidden? No, I'd rewrite Double Minds, but I really don't know what I'd change about it. I think... I think I would make the, um, I would have, no, that, no, um, I don't know what I'd change about it, honestly, but that's that. And then I'll reread All That Is Hidden. Just because it was a good, it's the Molly Murphy mystery series. I love that series by Reese Bowen. Let's pick, I'm not going to look at it. Oh, we got two. And that one. The Hen of the Baskervilles, that is by Donna Andrews. It's a cozy mystery. We'll go deep down here. And we've got Round Up the Usual Peacocks. That's by Donna Andrews as well. Oh no. Um, and then we have When the Crow's Away. That's another cozy mystery. That is by um, Aurelie Wallace, I think. Three Cozy Mysteries. Okay, so two from the same series, which is hard because I love that series, the Don Andrews, Meg Lanslow series. It's my favorite Cozy Mystery series. So that's hard. I don't want to... Okay, I think I'd like to round up the usual peacocks better than the Hen of the Baskervilles. So <sighs> this is hard. Okay, I think I'm going to reread Round Up the Usual Peacocks by Donna Andrews. I'm going to burn the Hen of the Baskervilles. I know, that's sacrilege to burn my favorite series, but... And then I'm going to rewrite When the Crow's Away by Orly Wallace. I think this book was really good. Um, it was a bit sad, and I don't think it needed to be sad. I mean, it was good, but I, I wouldn't want it to be as sad as it was. Because... I can't really give you a reason because it's a spoiler, but I enjoyed it a lot, but it was just really sad. So, okay. Not a typical cozy. It wasn't a typical cozy. It's quite emotional. Oh, one fell out, so we'll use that one. Um, Slashing Through the Snow. That was by Jacqueline Frost, a.k.a. Julie. Oh, what's her name? Jacqueline Frost is a cinnamon for Julianne Lindsay, I think. I think. And um, that's a cozy. Book Love. That is a graphic novel by Debbie Tung. Love that book. I want to buy it, actually. I want to buy all of Je um, Debbie Tung's books. And we have Hooked on a Feline. This is a cozy by Sophie Kelly. This one's quite easy, I think. I am going to reread Book Love, because I love it. I'm going to burn Hooked on a Feline, because this is a good series. I do have a few of them up there in my library, for my library, but it's not my favorite series. So we're just, I'm, I'm okay with burning. I mean, I'm not okay with burning any book, but Slashing Through the Snow, I'm going to rewrite. Don't know what I'd rewrite about it. I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> I think I just make it memorable because I don't remember much about it. I remember I enjoyed it, but I don't remember much about the plot. So I, I try to make it more memorable. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying. If you are, don't forget to like and subscribe because that does help my channel a lot. And I'm trying to make 200 subscribers by the end of this year. So I'm excited. I'm at 155 now. So if you haven't subscribed and you like this video and you want to see more of me, please subscribe, hit the bell button, and um leave a comment of course because i love talking to you guys um you don't have to subscribe by the way i'm just saying you know it does help my channel so 
Murder in Postscript. That's another cozy mystery. I read a lot of cozy mysteries this year. Murder in Postscript. Oh, by the way, I never mentioned Where the Crawdads Sing. That was a book I read last year, but um, I put it in. Murder in Postscript. I just read this book by Audio. This is by Mary Winters. Really enjoyed it. I've never read a Mary Winters book before. It was really good. It's a cozy mystery. Really enjoyed it. It's kind of a historical cozy mystery. Everyone's an alien when you're an alien too. And yes, the spelling is incorrect, but that's the way it's spelled in the book. Okay, it's a graphic novel by Jomney Sum. I thought I turned off my video for a second. I didn't. Okay. All right. Now we've got Secluded Cabin Sleeps Six. This is a book I read in the beginning of the year. I read it as a buddy read with my friend Jess. Okay. Definitely going to burn. Everyone's an alien when you're an alien too. You will see in a video coming up soon of the um, um, mid-year book freak out tag. This is my most disappointing book. Then I will rewrite... I'm doing this all in the wrong order, but I will rewrite Secluded Cabin Sleep 6. I thought it needed to be more suspenseful. I didn't like the suspense suspense in it. It was good, but it I knew who the killer was right away. So um, I kind of wanted more suspense and, you know. And then Murder in Postscript, I will reread because I really enjoyed that. That was easy. Okay. Next we have... Whiskers and Lies. This is another Sophie Kelly book. It's either Sophie Kelly or Sophie Ryan. I think it's Sophie Kelly, but it's the same person. Just two synonyms. Autumn Story, which is a picture book. I put their picture book because I don't know. I didn't know if I'd remember what it is. That is a just a tiny little picture book that I read. And I read it basically for the pictures because um, I was recommended by... Um, well, not personally recommended, Miranda Mills, uh, her channel, she says something about this series and she loves the pictures. So I got that book and read it and I loved the illustrations as well. Then there's Once Upon a Broken Heart. Ooh, that is by Stephanie Garber. I just recently read that. Okay. So I'll definitely burn Autumn Story. I don't remember who wrote it. It's not my favorite. It was cute, but it's it's a kid's book, and I, I, I just, I don't need it. So, burn that one. I will reread Whiskers and Lies. Um, no, rewrite Whiskers, I'm sorry. Rewrite Whiskers and Lies, just because um, I just will. I don't know. I think, again, I would make it more... I knew who the killer was, you know, I would make it more suspenseful. I don't know. It was cute. I like the cats in this book, but that's about it. That's the reason why I read them is for the cats. Once Upon a Broken Heart, I will definitely reread. I really enjoyed that, and I'm getting the second book today I'm picking up from the library. I'm so excited for it. Okay. The Remarkable Journey, this is cut off, but The Remarkable Journey of Cody Sunrise, which I read for a video that's coming up. I gave it four stars, really enjoyed it. The Marsh Madness by Victoria Abbott. And Paper Cuts by Ellery Adams. This is another cozy, and The Marsh Madness is a cozy. The Journey, The Remarkable Journey of Cody Sunrise is a middle grade. Okay. I think I would burn paper. Mm. I don't know. I think I would burn the remarkable journey of Cody Sunrise. I don't know why. I just would. And I would see Paper Cuts was the best in the series of Ellery Adams. It's the um, books, scone book, whatever that series is. Scone Book and Secret Society, Secret, Secret Scone and Book Society, that's what it's called, I got it. It's my favorite book in that series, it's the newest one, I really enjoyed it, 
But The Marsh Madness I really enjoyed too because it's one of my new favorite series. I think I will reread Paper Cuts and rewrite The Marsh Madness. But again, I don't know what I'd do to change it because it was nearly perfect. So, I don't know. Okay, we'll do maybe three more picks. Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. This is a cozy fantasy that's all over the internet. And I really enjoyed it. Pride, Prejudice, and Poison. I put their per Peril at first, but it's a different book than Pride, Prejudice, and Peril. It's Pride, Prejudice, and Poison. This is by Elizabeth Blake, I think is the name of the author. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. Where are the crawdads sing? I thought we did this one already. No, we didn't. We did that one outside. Where are the crawdads sing? Did we do that one already? I mentioned it, but I don't think we... We did it. I mentioned it because I pulled it outside when I was rereading it, so I apologize. But Where the Credits Sing is a book that I read last year. I made a mistake earlier. I apologize. So I will burn Pride, Prejudice, and Poison. I did not like this book. I thought it was boring. It is a cozy mystery, and I didn't like it. it the writing was bad. Next, I would... Oh, my... Um, I don't want to rewrite either of these. Okay. I would rewrite Legends and Lattes. I don't know what I'd change. Maybe some more action? I don't know. I loved it. And then I would reread Where the Credits Sing. Because that's just a really good book. I really enjoyed it. That is a mystery fiction, kind of literary fiction kind of book by um, Delia Owens. And then we have, oh, we've got two, okay. We have The White Fox, which is a picture book I read for middle grade in March. I forget who wrote it. As Good as Dead by Holly Jackson. The Baxters by Karen Kingsbury. Okay, this was the first book I read last year, The Bax this year, The Baxters, and I gave it five stars. So, again, I think I would burn the picture book. Because it's not my favorite format of books or genre. It's not a genre, but age group. I enjoy it sometimes, but it's not my favorite. And then I, oh my gosh, this is hard. Because I gave them both five stars. Um... I would rewrite the Baxters. Again, I don't know what I'd change. It just, it was a beautiful book. But I really want to reread As Good As Dead. So, that's just the way it goes. I really enjoyed the Baxters. It was the Christian fiction. And As Good As Dead is a YA thriller, by the way. We'll do one more round, I think. If you enjoyed this video and want me to do it again, I will. To Steal a Heart, I forgot the A in there, but it's To Steal a Heart by Jen Torano. Torino? Torano? I don't know how to pronounce it. Death on the Emerald Isle. Again, I made a mistake in that, but Death on the Emerald Isle. That is by Jessica Fletcher or, or Terry Lynn Far Terry Farley Moran, who wrote it. Jessica Fletcher is the character, and it, you know, if you look up Jessica Fletcher, it'll come up. Because she kind of, you know... Wrote it, but didn't write it. The real author is Terry Moran. Terry Farley Moran. Ooh, to write it wrong. That's the second book in the series of To Steal Hearts. I've got two books in that series. I've got book one and book two. Okay, I would burn Death on the Emerald Isle. Not because I didn't enjoy it. I do enjoy the series, but it's kind of cringy. Not the best writing, but I enjoy it. But I would burn that one. I would rewrite To Steal a Heart because I just want more of it. I want more of this character. This series is the Bleecker Street Mysteries Inquiry Service series, I think it's called. And um, it follows a different character, but it has 
the other characters from the other books in the book, but it follows the main characters a different person in each book. So I wanted more of this character, so that's why I would rewrite it. And then I would reread it to write it wrong, because that is my favorite character in the whole series, and I really enjoyed it. And the love interest in To Write It Wrong is really cool. Okay, so I still have this many, but I will save that for another time. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know um, anything. Let me know what book you're reading. Let me know if you like this video and you want to see it done again. And uh, thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day, night, morning, wherever you are. God bless you and all you do. Bye.